name is Sherry and this is Cross Boat, a place where magical people meet. I am in the Bahamas on the island of Abaco and it's a stormy sunrise. The sun doesn't look so hot over there, but the best thing to do, it's been rainy pretty much the whole time I've been here. And uh, this is the month of the magpie. it's starting to rain and I gotta get under the cover more. Let's see if I can get over here. Every full moon of the year has a special traditional name from the Native American people. It's based on observations of what's going on during that full moon. And it's not related to the Native American zodiac, which is based on the astrology of the twelve signs. That's something completely different. The traditional names of the full moons uh, each have a lesson that we can learn from them and a lesson that we're supposed to be learning at the time of that full moon. So, the full moon of March is the magpie moon, and here comes the sun. I love the sunrise. Um, this magpie moon or crow moon is also called the sap moon in the northeast because the sap is flowing from the, tr the maple trees and they would get maple sugar that way. Um, this is um, a, a traditional moon of communication. If you think of the crow, he's known as the communicator. Um, since ancient times, they are believed to have their own language. The language of the crows is essential for a medicine man to uh, understand, to communicate with the spirits, and to receive messages and and things along those lines. So, the thought of animals having their own language is much more accepted nowadays. And if you observe a pod of dolphins or a pod of whales or flocks of birds, it's very evident they have communication within themselves. On, on a level that makes their life meaningful. And another thing to keep uh, in mind with the crow is that he teaches us how to not only uh, communicate with each other, to communicate with other realms, the ancient ones. He also teaches us to communicate with other animals, to communicate with um, the, the spirits of the mountains, the wind spirit. Um, all things have a spirit, even mountains and even the ocean, the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. So. The, the crow has a, a, a vast uh, power there, especially to communicate in visions and in, um, in uh, prophetic dreams and things along those lines. Also, the crow has a, a, a power over healing, and an uh, important aspect of that is that they're known for an helping heal at a distance, distant healing, um, or long distance energy healing, or energy transferring, and this is another aspect that can be developed at this time. And I hope you enjoyed the... Uh, sunrise and I hope you enjoyed the information about the magpie moon which is the full magpie full moon of March and if you'd like to get more of these videos you can click the subscribe button for free and get a little email update every time I post one and until then I look forward to seeing you thank you for watching